Welcome everybody to the Kid Nation Jontron re-react. It's it's I actually hardly remember enough about this, but due to copyright concerns from Paramount, we actually have our little friend Fat Cat Image helping out here to help blur out some sections. So without further ado, let's get into it. Hey everyone, before we get into things, I'd like to thank today's sponsor, and that sponsor is Lords Mobile. Not only did they help make this video possible today, but they also are aiding in the fight against the coronavirus by donating over 1.8 million pieces of medical supplies to countries in need. But that's not all. They also want to support you. Me? Oh, um, yes. Ma? You. With everything going on in the world today right now, Lords Mobile and I wanted to try to find a way to help you and give back a bit. So we're doing a $20,000 giveaway. 20 people will be getting $1,000 each. It's super simple. All you've got to do is download the game from the link in the description and you'll be automatically entered for a chance to win. You'll also automatically receive a $350 Lords Mobile gift pack after downloading the game. In Lords Mobile, you can play with over 300 million players around the world to form a guild with your friends and take on the world together. Your guild mates are your allies who can send you resources and help you with your building projects. You can also team up together to take down your enemies and defend each other from outside threats. Or if you don't... <laughs> Is that a cable? Just want to let off some steam. You can capture, sequester, execute, or even charge ransoms for other players. The game has nice. a mix of strategy, RPG, MMO, and city building. And if you're a solo player, they have an RPG style campaign where you'll create your strongest team of five heroes to lead your kingdom to glory or failure. Sorry, I can't guarantee your victory if you uh, aren't in my guild. My bad. So, oh, what are you waiting for? The plug for the guild! Go what? ahead and download Lords Mobile from the link in my description to automatically be entered in the $20,000 giveaway. Okay, let's go! Nice. I mean, like, I'm not even opposed to mobile games. I know people like to dunk on, like, uh, Shadow Raid Legends. Yes, I'm putting it that way particularly. Hashtag payday reference. But, like, I know, I, I'm not even opposed to mobile games. It's just, like, making sure that my time feels respected. It's not time-gated and or predatory. That's really all my only concerns. I've got a question for you. If it oh. were the year 2007, your name were Jonathan Karsh, and CBS, the primetime family-friendly television network, just gave you a shitload of money to make a reality television show, uh -huh. would you A, put a bunch of literal children in the middle of the desert in a Lord of the Fly style situation without adult supervision and force them to survive? That should never be on the table. Or B, congratulations, if you chose A, you're correct. You would There's no way. There's no way. In shame. Basically, this was a real show somehow. Uh, I don't know how they got away with it. It was a real reality television show in 2007 where they took a bunch of young kids of varying ages and put them in the middle of a desert to create a society all on their own. And they- Like, and nobody sees that this is gonna be a problem. Nobody sees that this is gonna be any sort of just... It depends how, okay, it depends how much intervention there is on the behalf of the adults, to be fair. Filmed it. For real, I, I swear I'm not making this up. They really did this. Why? And I have no idea how I've never heard of it. I had to experience this, and now, so do you. I wonder if part of the copyright is that, that they just want to bury it. Because I know mine was from, like, Paramount. I, I, if you have the checking immunity tab, I actually cite the actual copyright claim on it. Like, I wonder if that they just want to bury it for brand image. But, I mean, I mean, if you don't want your brand associated with something don't do it right like i mean to be fair so for this to be a show this had to have passed a number of quality inner inner inner, inner quality checks there's no way that this got greenlit without legal without hr without pr without qa there's no way that this passed without just a number of departments and people signing off on this so i mean as a company, it's kind of just like, you kind of put this out there on your own, right? Like that, That's kind of on you. So prepare yourselves for the impending PR disaster that was Kid Nation. I don't know the artist on the Fat Cat, but Fat Cat's going to definitely pull in some... Uh... <laughs> Pulling some work on this one. So thank you, Fat Cat Artist. I love you. This is Bonanza City, New no, Mexico. It no, it isn't. Or what's left of it, anyway. The pioneers who ran this place back in the 1800s ran it into the ground. I mean, have you seen Have you seen certain cities? I've gone to certain cities in Idaho, and they look like they've been running to the ground, and they started in, like, the 30s. <laughs> lack of leadership and lack of will combined to leave this town completely and totally dead. Mm, that's the one. It's almost like strong leadership is a requirement. I'm also pausing more often than normal to become more transformative. Lack of leadership, 
lack of courage, lack of wa- hydration. Yeah. They yeah. moved to Los Angeles. They're fine now. I'm going to put kids here. <laughs> was there a lawsuit attached to this? Uh, I think there were a couple, actually. I had a, due to the prior react, we had a, uh, some people reach out in the comments and say that there were definitely some, uh, definitely s- s- some alleged lawsuits that took place. I need to look this up. In the synopsis from the Kid Nation wiki here, speaking before an audience of television reviewers, producer Tom Foreman acknowledged that Kid Nation would inevitably share some elements with William Golding's novel, Lord of the Flies. Okay, so here's the thing. Anyone that's... It, Lord of the Flies was high school reading for me. So you are, you're telling me that corporate CEOs, CFOs... Uh, the people that are responsible for doing this, putting this together, filming this, airing this, payrolling this, going through legal HR, PR, none of them knew what this was going to lead to. You cannot tell me in good faith that this was not... Th- this is out in the open. Like, we know how Lord of the Flies ended. We know about the uh, uh, allegories. We know about the metaphors. We know, we know, uh, we know the story. Like, con- <laughs> this is on you. <laughs> How do you bitch that? Listen, board of directors, I know you've got safety at the forefront of your mind. Inevitably, though, the kids yeah. will begin to kill one another to form a dominance hierarchy. If you see, if those are the yeah. script, that's the script, and this is the production. It's built. You can't not have the fat kid die. It's really hard. Now- Maybe this was an example of how far they could get, how far they could push the script. Actually, now that I think about it. Like, like how we were just how we discuss uh, regularly, like companies like Twitch will put out a policy that is generally going to be unpopular. But if it's accepted by mo- by people, they'll go through with it. But their plan B is just to yoink it and put out a just PR apology, right? You know, maybe this was one of those. Like, how far could they get away with daytime television to push views? Now, 40 new pioneers will try to fix their forefathers' mistakes and build a town that works. It won't be easy. It just works. Pioneer living is tough. <laughs> and the amazing part is, yeah, these is. pioneers are children. I love this freaking oh. epic helicopter shot. I like it. He's like, yes, that's correct. As I'm speaking to you now, 40 children are barreling towards me at a speed that is not legal in most of the lower 48 states. That's right. Most. The oldest no. just turned 15. The youngest is eight and a half. He got that one just looking at a picture of their family. That's the last you'll ever see. You're going you're gonna to be forgetting mommy's face soon. Poor Jimmy. Poor Jimmy. He got done dirty. They are every kind of kid imaginable. City kids, country kids, rich Poor and even Poor. the worst kind of kid of all. Missing. Aww. There's no adults, and I think I'm gonna die out here because there's nothing. He's got a- Jimmy's being the realist here, unironically. I think I'm just gonna die out here. <laughs> Jimmy, you absolute legend. Lock on it. Yeah. Jimmy, eight, the youngest. Yeah. Clearly, kids are smarter than we give them credit for. Yeah. Here's what I'm afraid about. If I catch a bad disease or I break my <laughs> Yeah, I mean, breaking of legs, bones, etc. is a valid concern out here, depending on the amount of supervision. Like, I'm assuming, like, so if they're out in the middle of nowhere, right? I mean, depending what weird people might get wind of a bunch of kids being out the middle of the- There's got to be security personnel. What happens if, because it was pitched as a Lord of the Flies situation, allegedly, potentially, right? No, we can't even, it was pitched as a Lord of the Flies scenario, and it's going to have some parallels to this, right? I mean, there's got to be security personnel on, on site, you know, maybe not in the town itself, but around. Maybe they got a trailer somewhere, right? I mean, there's going to be security personnel. There's got to be medics on standby. There's no way that you just stick up like 40 kids in the middle of nowhere and just let them let them to their devices there's got to be some person observatory person at the very least or else you are opening yourself up to a lot of litigation she's gonna be the winner i could tell the attitude she's got an attitude she's a good one good attitude though 40 kids with no parents no teachers anywhere and their leaders proof their kids too <laughs> everyone's kids the cameramen kids the producers Kids, the medic. That's three kids. Jonathan Karsh for pitching this. Definitely kid. <laughs> thought that was too hard for one kid. Split it among three. It's the first ever Kid Nation. Got him. That's right. We're seriously dropping kids off to fend for themselves in the genuine middle of nowhere. <laughs> because I know, I know they're. I, I can already feel. The potential copyright claim coming. I am trying my best, chat.
like, like I see, I see how you pitch this. I see how you pitch this with the score, the direction, um, the script so far read by Jonathan Carr. I see how this would be a popular concept, especially in America, right? I, I can absolutely see this. Um, also, this is batshit insane. <laughs> That's the buzzer that'll eat your dehydrated corpse if you don't work hard enough at the game. Isn't that a isn't that a hawk though? That's not a buzzard. Come off the bus! Get the fuck up! What are you waiting? What are you waiting for? You think I got time for this? You know who I am? I gotta get on a plane to somewhere real. <laughs> hey everybody, gather up, gather up, pack it in. I'm Jonathan. Nice to meet you guys. They don't feel the same way, Jonathan. They don't feel no. the same way. By the way, how dare you use such a name? A sneeze, but that's not gonna stop me from saying what I need to say. Oh my god, every time you have to sneeze but can't. Oh, this is such a mood. Yeah, I didn't cut that audio. This, the, the audio cut itself. Oh, he's trying so hard. Oh, it's right there. It's right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck, it's the worst when he can't sneeze. <laughs> yeah. So, how are you guys feeling? <laughs> well, say goodbye to that school bus. How's everybody feeling? Oh, scared? Well, good news. Have a look at the tail end of your only possible way yeah. out of here. It's gone. And say hello to the middle of nowhere. Good luck. Sorry you didn't get, like, fear factor. Oh, my. Oh, yeah. It's just setting in. I don't know whatever I got myself in. My parents <laughs> got me into. Are the parents liable here? Because I think the parents are liable here. Because I don't think, like, an eight-year-old is just like, Mommy, can you send me out into a desert with Jonathan Karsh? I mean, it depends. It, de it depends on how much was disclosed. Like, isn't there the follow-up with Jimmy? And he was talking about how it was going to be, like, some kind of elongated summer camp. But it, it, de it depends if details are withheld in the contract. It depends uh, if it's... Uh, in, in certain cases, if a contract is too long and certain critical points are... Uh, are, are like you know type 8 font with the rest of everything else like certain points are hidden in the contract that could also null and void the contract it really just depends on what was agreed upon in advance i mean as i mean parents i would assume would check that i would assume at the very least well most of them right um i don't know that, that it's a weird one and I, i'm very curious about the legality and the uh potential li I, like if i were to look at something like this right and if like kip were to make some sort of event right like it's like even if I made an event for just adults, right? So say I became, like, some kind of Mr. Beast level, like, creator, right? With just a, with a bunch of money, right? And I'm just like, oh, yeah, we're going to do this. Uh, we're going to do, like, uh, Pioneer Frontier, right? I'm pretty sure that's already a thing. I don't know. Anyways, but, like, Pioneer Frontier, right? And I open this up to, like, a bunch of people I'll get in the middle of nowhere with little supervision. Because my brand name is tied to this. Because, you know, you know, I, I, looking at it, you're getting a bunch of people in a place to begin with there has to be some sort of rules there has to be some sort of you know guideline or else just you're gonna get a lord of the fly situation i mean and then i'd be held liable right it's just like you look at this and you're just you have to it's a it's it is a brand risk is what it is <laughs> i don't think the eight-year-old takes most of those steps i think some of it's on the parents there but nanza city is just a few miles that way and you're going to be there for the next 40 days but don't worry you've got each other You've also got four leaders. Yeah. And they were chosen because they represent all of you in age, geography, everything. Are you trying to accuse me? I didn't get the, the three who re they represent ev the ev age, <laughs> geography, <laughs> everything. Everything. They're your town council. And I think I hear them coming right now. Came from a helicopter. Came from the sky. I think I'm a good leader because I have respect for other people's ideas. Unlike the rest of these freaks. <laughs> and this is Taylor, a gun pageant queen. If I can make this a better world, I bring world peace to Africa with all the orphans, especially to Iraq, and that'd be the number one place that needs world peace. That's. That is probably the most American thing I've heard this entire video. 
I'm not even going near that. That, that, I'm not even touching that. It's beautiful, Taylor, and you can get right on that after you finish bringing running water to this town of 40 literal infants. Uh. This is Anjay, a genius spelling bee champ. Three adults I know have done a good job. George Washington, Benjamin Franklin, and Mahatma Gandhi. Okay, three of the only good adults, all of them wanted the British to stop ruling their country. <laughs> Why was that funny? <laughs> and this is Laurel, a respected student leader. I really believe in my own true beliefs and no one's gonna make me think otherwise. Wow. Wow. Politicians. When I saw those four kids, I was like, oh no, this is all gonna fall apart. What? Is this the right people or are they just getting right back on the helicopter? I mean, I'm looking at them coming down and I'm thinking, frankly, uh, my biggest problem here was just that they're unelected. Yeah. And also that they're children. Behind me are wagons filled with 40 days worth of frontier supplies. You guys are going to grab a wagon and get started. It's a long hike. <laughs> <laughs> and that's just the beginning. The next 40 days will be hard. This is hard for a seven foot tall Norman Viking. You're about that big. If you just can't handle all of this, well, there's going to be a town hall meeting in a few days where any one of you can decide to give up and yeah. go home. If any of you wants to be a little bitch on national television <laughs> in front of all your peers, well, don't worry, you could do that in five days from now. It's honestly, he, he's really pointing this, painting this narrative, though. I, I, he's, I mean, honestly, if anything, the network probably got a slap on the wrist, like, hey, you can't do this anymore. Maybe you had to pay out a fine. I, I don't know if any of the litigation actually stuck. Jonathan Carr's probably just directed more projects, and if anything, probably just emboldened his resume. If I had to guess, not knowing the actual outcome, if I had to guess, maybe someone in the comments can light me onto what actually happened there. Entirely up to you, okay? There are no correlating factors related to your decision it is 100 percent up to you do you understand council <laughs> two things you need to remember first after you get to town and settle in go to the chapel where you'll find an old book that'll give you a lot more information about what to do yeah. it's called the holy bible oh! and god damn it you guys are gonna need it <laughs> it's the king james <laughs> the fact that it's the king james version <laughs> Smart guy, that guy. Nice. Second, <laughs> there's something I want to show you. It's a good idea to get to know the kids in your town because every few days, you're going to give one of them one of these. Wow. Awful. It's a trophy for the top kid in town. Okay, I, I don't care what it is. Can you keep it out of my eyes, please? Because Bonanza City was based on mining, this two-pound star is worth its waiting Or... <laughs> Or twenty thousand no. dollars. Nice. No. Because nice. if these kids have an understanding of what twenty thousand dollars was, what's that? It's a lot of Xbox games. Worth like fifty, six, seventy stickers bars. Promise me you can't tell anybody about this. I'm not talking about the star. I'm talking about <laughs> this. Okay. I'm having to pre-fire the fat cat at this point just because I don't know when the Kid Nation clips are going to actually pop up. And I'm playing Siege. I'm just pre-firing the cat. Please. Don't tell anybody about this. I can get in a lot of trouble. Yeah. We don't want to start a riot here on the wagon train, okay? Oh. You don't want your top military guards to be decapitated, heads on pikes around the Bastille, yeah. okay? You don't want that. No resistance! Okay, you don't want any of that, okay? You don't... <laughs> this has aged beautifully in 2023. Oh, my God. want that to happen. I don't think it's too much fun living in the old days. I told you that would happen! Really, no fun. <laughs> he really does like having a good time, like, for real. I would like to cite Simon Whistler. The past was, in fact, the worst. Yeah. But it has to be done. Hey, it ain't easy pulling carts of plastic Tupperware and chicken eggs and shit, but yeah. somebody's got to do it, okay? <laughs> There's nothing here. It just looks like there was something, but now it's gone. This place is dead, and we need to bring it back to life. I felt sort of weird because I thought that maybe there would be a doll. You can't script that. You can't make that up. That kid is the proof. That kid's a legitimate proof this actually happened. Here, yeah. in a kid's world, there's no President Bush. There's no... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if we talk about Jeb. Now, if Jeb were here, 
This would be a fixed up. What is a Jeb? I have no understanding of this. What is, who, who is this Jeb person? I keep hearing memes about him. Town. Crap required. Are we supposed to live here? in disarray. Guys, there's something in here. Wait. Was that what it, that can't be, can't be what I thought, wait. Okay, that's a door frame. I thought that was a guillotine frame for a second. I was like, oh, this got dark real quick. Oh, hey, I think there's something. Okay, snake. that's just squ scorpions. Snake. I think there's like a big snake in there too. It's just scorpions and a snake, guys. Well, when we first started planning for dinner, I realized that a lot of us haven't done anything. The screwdriver beat like can of corn. <laughs> okay, to be fair though, <laughs> to be fair, I've done that. Done I have done this. <laughs> screwdriver beat like can of corn. If I put a hole in my friend. Does he stop? Does he like slow yes. down? Yeah. We need some water. Eventually, if he loses two liters of what's inside of him, then technically, yeah. <laughs> guys, guys, where's the water? There's no water? <laughs> How do you get water if you don't have water? How do you get water if you don't have water? Just technically dig. Hit the ground, just. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Taylor, what's wrong? I just like missing home and I just miss my own bed and like getting to eat protein like and meats and all. I just miss those like that, that's a genuine like panic like panic there's a genuine breakdown. The fact that it's like So here's the thing, someone's actually recording that like an adult is behind the camera recording this. Base amino acids that, that, that my cells need to survive. I don't know, I just wish they would have like at least left a couple Flintstone gummies or something. I don't know if I'm gonna be at the meeting or not. I just Why? today has been the worst day in three years. Wait, what exactly happened to you three years ago, Jared? I need more context on this worst day in three years. What do you mean? <laughs> What happened? What? I don't see any food. No food. When we say one pancake a piece, you need to take one pancake a piece. Some people didn't get pancakes. I didn't get any pancakes. I mean, she's she's the realist here. She's the real. Like like she. Look, bro. I'm trying. <laughs> I love I love this man. The, the, this the fact that he he will come on up. This is too pr and, and he just like comes up there and just inspires everybody. And is just like yeah, I, this is the type of personality that I am. Although I'm actually I'm lazy about it. I can like because there's been situations where I've been with in a pretty a depressing group scenarios. And then I'll just like inspire everybody. And then I go retired in my corner because I'm like man I'm tired. I'm gonna have other people do deal with this now. <laughs> The kids of all age groups like you guys can actually take control, get organized, and then you can actually work together cooperatively. You guys actually need to listen to your leaders because, yes, okay, they've made a few mistakes. This is the second day. There's going to be mistakes, okay? But you guys really need to think of your job and you need to take control of it. And after we do that, we'll just become a working machine. Each of us will be a car. I, I just, it takes a lot to be a leader like that, though. I'll get a big machine, an empty machine, but it's gonna have to be that way, or else we'll all starve. Yeah. And we'll just work out a lot better. Michael, Michael, <laughs> Michael, he did it! Our king is a great <laughs> 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 City. That, that, that's not that that's just manufactured like you that's that's just manufactured I'm, i guarantee you that that is just printed out <laughs> if you're reading this then you made it to bonanza city we couldn't make this town work but maybe you can build a better bonanza and a better world oh on the second page there's just a picture of a bunch of skeletons nice weird nice if you want your town to work better than us best divide your groups into four equal districts blue Ex excuse you? Excuse you? There, the the adults are already forcing a caste system upon. <laughs> no! Did nobody read the? Nobody read literature in high school. Did nobody? Did y'all just read Lord of the Flies and be like, oh yeah, that's a cool fiction story. Definitely wouldn't happen. You're gonna divide. Not just people, kids. You're gonna divide kids up 
into being red team, blue team, green team, yellow team, you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna get effectively gang wars with this. You're gonna be like, oh nah, us us on green team, we're clearly better. Blue team's not pulling their weight. Yeah, I mean us on green team, we're cool with red team, yellow team. They'll get the fuck out of here. We don't want blue team. We don't want yellow team in here, right? It's like, oh god, you just. You don't want to do this. You don't. This leads nowhere good. Red, green, and yellow. You got to split that sucker up into blue, green, yellow, and the other color. That's how you do it. Okay? You split it. You split it into colors. That's how you make a town. But I wouldn't take advice from us because we yeah. ran a town to the ground. Yes. I'm gonna be honest. I really hope that there was like a sociology study done on this. Like after the fact, how this just de this just it, it's going to devolve. There's no no two ways about it. This is going to devolve. Like, I hope a sociology study was done on this to just, like, like chronicle and further just, like, cite that, yeah, this is what happens when you do this to people. Oh, my God. Today, Jonathan told us about this really old book. I read, like, a passage from it out loud. I think it was an incantation. Nice. I know I shouldn't have, but the town might be cursed now, but, Jimmy, you're green. Uh, Alex, going to be blue. So in order to make it work... We had to split you guys up into four different districts. I mean, I know it's counterintuitive, but the town, it's got to be district dies because that's straight from the guys who killed the town made the town die. <laughs> it's going to die otherwise. I think I did a good job at picking the teams. People seem to like each other. They get along. Where's Jimmy? Hmm. I'm not I'm Jimmy. Jimmy. Okay, everyone, Jimmy. don't panic. We've lost Jimmy. We've lost Jimmy. Yeah, the youngest is missing. Oh, no. <sighs> no way. No way, dude. No way! There's no way the studio okayed this. Was this not awkward to film? You track down this eight-year-old somewhere randomly in the camp, it's just you and him, and you're just silently filming him cry? There's no... This passed through multiple layers of internal, are we putting this out? You're kidding me. What are you, what are you, monsters? That's great. Nah, nice, Jimmy. Just give me more of that. Just keep thinking about how you have literally no escape. There it is. There it is. There it is. Blue team is struck first. There we go. Remember what I just said about quote unquote gang wars? Yeah. Yeah. Somebody has graffitied with the chalk all over. I'm gonna find out who did this. If only they would have left some sort of clue. <laughs> And the bells Awful. ringing and ringing. And I seen John go up there ringing it. I was like, I wonder what that's for. What is that for? You What's know, that for? He's What's that for? What's that bell for? What what that bell ringing in the town center? What's that for? I wonder. Jay Cars is ringing that bell quite liberally, and it's not <laughs> it's not generally good plans he's got for us, so no. you know, I'm i I'm really wondering what that's what that's for. Yeah. <laughs> Fair. Pioneer living is tough, isn't it? Yes. Who thinks this has been totally chaotic? Show of hands, who thinks any of this has been reasonable at all? Who thinks this is totally out of line? Jimmy, you're a little quiet over here. How's this on you? You're you're only eight years old. <laughs> Did he just pick it up, Jimmy? <laughs> Are you missing your parents? Yeah. Must be hard seeing as I dropped you off in this barren landscape. You miss your mommy and daddy? Why don't you speak up? What are you so quiet for? Small <laughs> infant in the back? <laughs> Look like easy prey as far as I see it. <laughs> Maybe it's time to get a little bit more organized. How does that yeah. sound? Yeah, yes, please. Yes, that's what I want. That is what I want. That's what I D Honestly, Jonathan Karch, organization coming from you. I'm gonna need a lot more context and probably a couple citations on where this has actually worked. I'm, I'm gonna put it that way. What? This board lays out all the jobs that need to be done to make this. Oh no. Oh no. They're going full. They're, they're going ham into the caste system. Oh no. Out run. Okay, that's not that's not really what I was thinking. I was thinking when you said organized, I was thinking like a supply chain of food and yeah. dairy. That yeah. comes like once a week, maybe. Cooking, cleaning, oh even running stores. Woo -hoo, running stores. Woo woo. <laughs> yeah. You guys are going to be managing stores in Bonanza City, filled with cool stuff. You'll even run a soda saloon where root beer costs a nickel. How does that sound? Yeah. Oh my god. Oh yeah, root beer. Yeah. I still. Can we get water first, though? Let's that that is the valid question there. As someone that really, really loves root beer, I might I might have some tonight actually. <laughs> I just can't make this up! No! 
You can see on the board, starting right now, you get paid for doing your job. Nice. Compensation, F yeah. Wow, that's the one. Can you imagine, chat, getting paid to do a job? Bro, that's wild to me. <laughs> We're going to figure out who does what fairly. In true Wild West fashion... We're going to have a showdown. That's nice. right. You kids are going to fight to the death for your fixed spot in the hierarchy of this child-backed feudal economy. Woo! Woo! All right, Jimmy, <laughs> you better work the hardest out of anyone here. You, you got the most of your life to live out in this system. You're only eight years old. See? That's you all the way down there. You better hope you can scrounge up enough corn to pay the... Yeah. No, the, yeah. This this makes sense. Yeah. Because... The, the, <laughs> John does this as a bit, but that is, in fact, what caste systems are going to lead to. I hate it. Cooking class their wage, okay? That's me up there. That's the king, Jay Karsh. It, it works out pretty good in the end there. It's, kind of, it's, it's an elegant little system. So, yeah, he makes the teams compete for their place in the social structure here, literally. Which is amazing, considering the kids who get in the laborer class clearly have shown themselves here to be the least able to do labor, so... <laughs> This is this is just so amusing to me. This is just this is so amusing. That's a bit of a cruel trick. Yeah. You guys all pulled together and you won a reward for the entire town. The reward oh, no. is gonna be a choice. Christ's sakes. You're gonna oh, make no. them Don't do this. You're you're just introducing so many points of contention that like it's it's gonna go nowhere good. Okay, alright. What do we got? What do we got? Outhouses. Nice. Seven, four of them. That's right. From one to eight. From Wait. one to eight? You've only given one outhouse this whole- Bro. Bro, there's no fuck. There's no shot. That's gotta be cap, bro. No way. No way you gave 40 kids a single outhouse. Did you just- What'd you squander the production budget on? Fucking- Vegas? I, I I don't know. Wait, like, no way. I can obviously this is two. Two. Come on, man. No way. Full time? Wait, are you serious? Have they seriously I mean, I know it's reality TV, but we've established this one's a little different. Are you telling me they've actually had all the kids be using one outhouse? Oh my god, dude. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I know I get it, John. I understand what you mean, bro. I mean, I you just it, sometimes yeah. you meet a guy you fucking <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> John and I are ironically on the same page. Will you choose seven more outhouses or this? Or poor Jimmy. A there TV. it is. A sanitary A conditions. Bugs Bunny. No gangrene. Young Sheldon. <laughs> you guys run this town. It's really up to you. So take a walk, talk, and figure. You cannot. You cannot. You guys run this town. It's really up to you. So take that, a walk. That that mood right there. The oh god, I gotta make a really big decision. That is a mood. Talk and figure this out. If we have a TV, when are they gonna have time to actually watch the TV? It's yeah. great. And we need more outhouses. But also, you look at the back. The TV, like. <laughs> I feel like he really wants the TV out of the three of them. He just wants the TV. <laughs> it's developing. This is this is just society developing in its just most just perfect distilled form. Because you get one person that's like, well, I want, I, I want, I, we, let's get the TV. People are desperate for something to do. But you look at him and he's just like, bro, I just want the TV. Like, oh, this is, this is. This is peak. Oh, I live for this. I live for just evolution of just people. People are something to do. I've heard like they're planning a coup. Yeah. Okay, they're coming for us, at least when SpongeBob, Squidward are on the screen, okay, dancing around. It's gonna distract them. We don't have to get drawn and court and hung publicly in this. Mm, well, we mm, it's almost like this goes back to the concept of Rome bread and circuses. If you were a Roman citizen, you were guaranteed to not go hungry, at, to at least be able to have bread. And then circuses is your entertainment. You don't have your entertainment, you don't have a means of not going hungry, so you are going hungry, right? You're, you're gonna get a little, uh, you get a little spicy at the, the ruling class, if you will. <laughs> made a decision that... 
You have to go to that boat house. We don't want any more diseases from the toilet. Yeah, we want yes. the toilets. Yes. All right, mate, leave. Why? Jimmy, why would you want to go home right now? I just miss my family, that's it. <laughs> Dude, Jimmy's getting done dirty this entire thing. Oh, Same my God. Here. Yeah, you do need to stay. You keep your <laughs> pointy finger away from my little Jimmy. Don't poke my Jimmy like that. You understand? Dude. You poke my Jimmy! Don't poke my Jimmy like that! Let's go, pioneers! Oh, God. She's ringing that bell again. Nothing good's gonna come from this. And welcome to the very first... Bonanza City Town Hall Meeting. Just so you know, this is the first time the kids can elect to leave. So they were stuck here until this yeah. part. Yeah. This is it. This is the first time. They had to go through all of that before they're allowed to leave. Oh, gosh. I hope everyone's going to be nice to each other. No yelling no. and or cursing. Hope nobody brings out a bone club they they pick from a wildebeest out in the in the desert, starts brandishing it, beating, it, beating down the other kids. Hope that doesn't happen. I would assume any decaying and or deceased slash expired animals in the area i would assume the crew that went in first would have cleaned those up if there were any because of the risk of like like how, how carcasses can just explode because of heat and gas build up right yeah yeah they explode <laughs> now, i know this has been an emotional few days and a lot of you miss your folks i'm gonna ask this question in every town meeting does anybody want to go home anybody here want to look like a little <laughs> bitch. Taylor, you were pretty homesick. How are you feeling now? Yeah, Taylor, remember that thing you told me in confidence that I'm now revealing in front of all your peer group? How about now? How's it going now? You still feeling like a, a big loser, baby? We want to wants to go home? Does anyone else here want to go home? Bro! <laughs> Jimmy with the... Jimmy with the... That was the energy I got from that. J Jimmy, J Jimmy just gives no shits. <laughs> Jimmy, the legend. Jimmy, why do you want to go home? I'm really homesick. I think I'm way too young for this. He's like the only person with a rational sense of anything here. Yeah. I am way too young for this, Jonathan. Do you want to leave this? entire experience I, I feel like he's just gaslighting this eight-year-old at this point this man is wild wow and go back home you want to look at these four hellish walls and tell me you want to walk back home and eat a peanut butter and jelly sandwich made yeah. by your mom yeah that's really what you want to do jimmy yeah yeah <laughs> I'm, done. I'm good bye Bye, I'm Jimmy Bye. I'm Jimmy Bye. Jimmy's the absolute just unit here. Oh my god. Bye. We'll call your parents. We'll take you home. And this is the end of your life. <laughs> Only the strong survive. <laughs> no one leaves Kid Nation unless they make it through Kid Nation. Bye, Jimmy. Bye. Bye, Jimmy. Why do I get the feeling that Jonathan Karch is actually depressed? Like, hold up. We'll take you home. Like, like, this almost feels... It, this gives me the vibe of, like... God, I hope he really doesn't tell people about this place. Like, I'm getting this really depressive, like... Almost, like, lost... Like, like, uh... Like, like um... What's the word? Not, like, lost as in, like, you know, John Travolta meme, right? But, like, just a, like... Crap, I hope he doesn't tell people about this kind of vibe. Oh, man. And this is the end of your... Life! <laughs> Only the strong survive! No one leaves Kid Nation! Unless they make it through Kid Nation. Bye, Jimmy. Bye. Bye, Jimmy. <laughs> Bye, Felicia. Bye, Jimmy. Bye, Jimmy. Can't you lie to Jimmy? Bye, Jimmy. I guess he was just way too homesick and just needed to go home. Now, one last piece of business before we close, and I think you guys are going to like this. Take a look at this, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> What the hell? Okay, now he brings it up like the second, the literal second Jimmy leaves. He's like, all right, now that that loser's gone, who wants to win $20,000? I feel like it was a litmus test to just kind of like get past the initial thing. And if anyone wanted to go home, clearly they didn't, they weren't going to be incentivized by this or it, 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 quote unquote, like, you know, call the, the chaff the weak, so to speak, which Jimmy is honestly the smartest out of pretty much anybody here. Like, wow. Um...
<sighs> yeah, no, Jimmy got done dirty. Jimmy was robbed. Yeah, he was. I'm just gonna say it, Jimmy was robbed here. Ju justice for Jimmy, Jimmy was robbed. The person we felt who worked the hardest this entire time that they've been here is Sophia. Nice. So Sophia wins it, and then they allow her to go to the one phone in the facility that they've been locking off from everyone. She's able to contact her mother for help. I got the moms just on the other end, probably like, "That's that's great, sweetie. What do you, what do you mean? I thought the desert, rattlesnakes. Yeah. What do you mean F feudalism? Honey, where are you? Honey, where are you? Can you see <laughs> caste system? What do you mean? <laughs> the intersection. What's the nearest street sign? Honey." In short, uh, this has been uh, probably illegal, definitely probably. unethical. Yeah. I give it five stars, worth twenty thousand dollars each. Nice. <laughs> Next time on John Tron, find out the thrilling conclusion to the Kid Nation saga as John dives headfirst into an interview with Jimmy, eight from New Hampshire. Nice. Though he's not eight anymore, at least I think. Probably. Kid Nation had quite a long time ago now, so I doubt he's still eight. But oh man, that was before the housing crash. Nice. We'll have to tune in next time to find out. Did you pre two stuff pre two thousand eight was just built different. After two thousand eight, things got a lot more, a lot more sad. Do you have any concept at that age of like, oh, it's reality TV, but it's probably not going to be like totally real. Yeah. <laughs> I love this. I have now reacted to this, and I'm complying with all advertiser guidelines. And I have, in fact, transformed the Kid Nation pieces. So let us see if this will get copyrighted. Because at that point, then I I, I don't know. <laughs> this, this, this might just be a lost cause if this gets copyrighted. Because I've been firing off the cat meme so many times during this video. Like, it's got to be. It's transformative, right? Like, I, I would argue JonTron's bit itself was transformative. The original, This original Kid Nation video was transformative. However... Uh, we'll see. And that being said, if uh, if we get another copyright claim uh, by the same company, I uh, I feel that they owe John a little bit of, a bit of royalties for claiming you know eighty percent of this video. I feel it's only fair. I feel it's only fair if they contact John and say, "Hey, John, we're claiming your whole thing." But uh, then John's going to be like, "Actually, it's transformative," and then John gets a lot of money from them. Like I, I think this is the fair the fair deal here. I mean, this is this was clearly within fair use. So transforming it even more is falls within fair use. So. Uh, We'll see where that leads with advertisers and uh, and uh, copyright. Let's let's see where that goes. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this. See you next time, guys.